Hey everybody, welcome back to Running Gun. I'm JT and in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 running gun photography tips and tricks. So let's get right into it. So the way I like to describe the running gun photography mindset is creativity, ingenuity, and adaptability. So you can overcome whatever comes your way whether you don't have the best gear, whether you don't have the optimal conditions, it's really about adapting and overcoming to still get the shot no matter what. Tip number one is to pack smart. Packing smart means being economical with the gear that you're going to bring with you. You unfortunately can't bring your whole studio in your backpack, so you have to be selective about what you actually need. For example, I don't need all of my lenses. Maybe I pick my top two or three, a wide, a medium, and a long. Maybe I decide instead of a heavy tripod, I take a carbon fiber monopod. That's being efficient and packing smart. Tip number two is gear maintenance. I cannot stress this one enough. This means bringing extra batteries, making sure your batteries are charged before you leave the house, making sure you have memory cards and those memory cards have been formatted and are not full. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a shoot and photographers have to go through their memory cards and delete photos from old shoots because they do not have enough room on their card to keep shooting. And honestly, that's really embarrassing to do in the middle of a shoot. So make sure all of your gear is maintained, works properly, is clean, and is ready to go before you even leave the house. Tip number three is to be prepared. Nothing ruins a day of shooting like downpouring rain that you didn't expect. Make sure you check the weather before you go out. Check if there are any local events that may cause traffic jams or parking shortages and overall have situational awareness to make sure that your shoot goes as smoothly as possible and that nothing keeps you from getting the images that you need to. Tip number four is to slow down. Now, running gun photography does not literally mean running around spraying and praying and hoping that you get a good photo. Stop, take a deep breath, compose your images, if you really need to bring out that tripod or monopod, do it, make sure that you're putting the time into those images because it's going to pay off later. You don't wanna get back and realize you took a whole bunch of blurry images and completely wasted your day. Tip number five is to experiment with both aperture and shutter priority. I love to shoot manual mode about 95% of the time and it's extremely important to know how to manually control your exposure. But in some cases, especially street photography, it's important to be fast. If I wanna set my aperture somewhere maybe between f4 and f8 and then let my camera decide the shutter, sometimes that's okay. Maybe for example, I'm doing panning shots and I wanna set my shutter to an eighth of a second and my background really doesn't matter if it's blurry or not, so I can let my camera decide my aperture and I can focus on getting the precise moment instead of fiddling with my camera and missing the shots because I'm playing with my settings. Tip number six is to utilize portable battery powered LED lights. Nothing beats having a portable light source with you in your bag at all times. Whether you're doing light painting portraits or just adding a little bit of accent light to your image, LED lights are pretty great when it comes to battery usage, brightness, and not overheating. So I recommend picking one up if you don't have one already. And I will have some links to my favorite running gun LED panels down in the description. Tip number seven is to think about your clothing. Make sure if it's gonna be hot, you dress appropriately. If it's going to rain or snow, you're dressing warm and appropriately bringing a hat and gloves. Make sure that you have a good range of motion, that your clothes aren't too bulky and you can't move around and you're choking on your camera strap because your jacket is too heavy. Also be conscious of your shoes. 
My Converse look cool, but they're really uncomfortable to walk 10 or 12 miles in. So that might be an option where I throw on some Nike Freeze or a pair of shoes that allows me to walk long distances and make sure I can be on the move. Tip number eight is to bring a wingman. Bring a buddy with you shooting, not only for safety reasons, but you might need someone to hold a reflector, hold a light, hold a tripod. It's always great to have someone with you watching your six to make sure you're not gonna get your camera gear snatched if you have to set it down, or just to be an extra set of hands in a tricky situation. Additionally, it's great to be able to bounce ideas off of another creative person when you're out shooting. Speaking of which, if you find these tips helpful, make sure you share this video with another photographer friend. Tip number nine, zoom versus prime. When you're packing your bag, you're gonna have to think of the pros and cons of each and what you need for your shoot. For example, prime lenses, they're fast, they're sharp, and they allow you to shoot in very low light situations, but you're stuck at one focal length. Whereas a zoom lens like a 24 to 70 is gonna be a little more versatile. You don't have to carry a 24 millimeter, a 50, and a 35 in your bag. That range is covered with one lens, but you might be limited on your low light shooting. So think carefully about your lens selections. Tip number 10, and this one is by far my most important tip. And if you don't use any of my other tips, be sure to use this one, follow the light. And when you find the light, stay there and wait for the moment because a great photo is a great moment with great light. So don't go around searching for a moment and hope the light is there. Find an area with great lighting conditions, sit there, wait for the decisive moment and then take your shot because your lighting is already gonna be perfectly set up for you and you're gonna have a great photo. So that is all for my run and gun photography tips and tricks. Make sure you hit that like button if you found these tips valuable. And lastly, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know exactly when I'm dropping my new photography tips, tricks, and hacks videos. And until next time, get out and go shoot.